blending whisky starts right on the day the whisky has been distilled. When that new whisky has been produced from the distillery, I will see samples to nose and approve that whisky. Blender's job is keeping the products the same year after year. So right at the start of the process the blender is in control of the spirit that is being laid down for maturation for many years to come. I always say you can only describe a blender in two words, quality and continuity. Nosing whisky is quite a complicated process. It is something that takes a lot of years of practice. You must be able to memorise the flavours and be able to describe those flavours correctly so that every time you smell those same flavours, you can describe them in the same manner. Memory for flavour is all about your life experiences. refer back in your mind to the first time you smelt that thing. What a lot of people don't realise is that as Master Blender, you don't get a second chance when you're nosing whiskey. You only get one chance. If we were to get it wrong and if I was to pull together a Valentine's 21 year old blend and it didn't meet the flavour profile, I can't just go and make more because the whiskey was laid down 21 years ago. You have to manage your casks very carefully. The flavour coming from your cask on a very old whiskey has a bigger influence on the distillate. So what you find is you have to have the oak complementing the whiskey and not competing with it. You can play different tunes bringing the whiskey together, making something that is almost bigger than its constituent parts, absolutely multifaceted. Making whiskey today is very, very similar to the way it would have been 100 years ago. It's like building a house. You have your foundation moulds. Now, it doesn't matter how special your house is. If the foundations are not right, your house will fall down. My name is Sandy Hislop and I'm Master Blender for Valentine's Whiskies.